Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Springdale 260 LE. It's a beautiful bunkhouse model. Let's go ahead and start right over here on the dinette. So the thing I like about this, you have the campsite dinette, nice big window here as well, which allows you to see your campsite when you're eating breakfast, having a cup of coffee, and that's what you want. That is the view you want right here. So I always enjoy when manufacturers are able to do this. Also, this does drop down into a bed. If you need additional sleeping space, you can just pull the legs out right here. The table will sit along these rails, take the cushions, fill it in on top, and that will give you your sleeping space. If you have to do a little bit of work, maybe plug in a laptop or tablet, you will see there is an electrical outlet right down below, as well as a dual USB port right up here next to the window. If you take a look all the way across the top, you do see nice additional storage there. So that is quite usable, great place for, you know, maybe some of your plates or something, uh, you know, maybe board games, whatever you want, but it is easy access again, it is as it is right above the table there. LED lights throughout the coach, which are great too, especially if you're boondocking. They don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Right here is your multimedia center. This is your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, just pop it right in there. Your Jensen TV is right here. Uh, speaking of Jensen, you have a Jensen TV as well as Multimedia Center, which is great because those are name brand electronics in the RV industry. It's one of the top of the line you can have in an RV because it's built to withstand the shocks and vibrations while going down the road as well as the temperature extremes. As we make our way back a little bit further here, you get into your bunks. Uh, in the industry, this is what we call a double over double bunk. So you'll see this is uh, nice and wide right here on both top and bottom. 300 pound weight capacity there as well. One of the other great things about the top bunk, if you notice, you have like a cathedral style ceiling here. It's a barreled ceiling, which means you're not going to feel claustrophobic while you're in this top bunk. It's not going to feel like a coffin uh, like you have in a lot of other manufacturers. Right in the back here is the bathroom. If we take a look in here, you will see uh, down right there is the toilet, foot flush lever toilet. Next to that is your tub shower. So if you have smaller kids, you want to give them a bath, you can. Shelf there, hand wand, and a skylight slash vent up top. Now as you come outside of the bathroom, right over here is your mirrored medicine cabinet as well as the sink. Uh, electrical outlet here if you need to plug in a hair dryer or anything. And some additional storage down below. I personally like having the sink out here just because it allows for a lot more versatility. Especially with having the bunks if you have your kids with you. Someone can be taking a shower while someone else is brushing their teeth. Uh, it just gives again a lot more utility in the camper. Right here is an upgraded seven cubic foot fridge freezer combo. You can take a look at that, nice and big, plenty of storage there. Uh, the back fins here are protected by a plastic cover, which is nice. And this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Meaning if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Some additional storage right up top here. Then as we move further into the kitchen, right here is your microwave. You see the weight of the unit, 5,200 pounds, not too shabby. Next to that, some additional pantry storage space there. Underneath the microwave is your hood with a light and a fan. Three burner at wood cooktop, the front one there being high output. Stainless steel front here to match the fridge. And you will see you have the oven in case you want to do some baking. Large single uh, bowl sink in this camper, which is nice if you're using larger cookware, if you use residential cookware, uh, because you can actually fit your pots and pans down in here, pull out faucet there as well. You'll see a nice cubby hole cut out underneath, and then additional storage underneath the sink, which is perfect for your cleaning supplies. You also have an electrical outlet right over here in case you need to plug anything in, uh, whether it be a toaster or a coffee maker. An additional one on the other side of the window that is to be used for uh, anyone that is sitting right here on the jackknife sofa. This part's kind of cool. This actually folds up, so if you want the extra sofa here, maybe you know you want to squeeze in with the kids, you can do that. Or if it's just the two of you, maybe after the kids go to bed, go ahead and drop this down. You have some nice cup holders there as well. 
Now, because it is a jackknife sofa, you also have great storage underneath, a perfect place to put bedding. It's nice and easy to get to. And this does drop down into an additional bed for more sleeping space. Right up top here, you see some additional storage. You can see that right there. Of course, another set of double doors right next to it here. The bedroom of the 260LE features a walk-around queen bed, additional storage under the bed here as well. The entrance does have a slider door rather than a curtain, so you have great additional privacy here. If you take a look up front, you will see that you have storage on both sides of the bed. Nice wardrobe hanging space there. Uh, shelf going across the top here as well. LED reading light. And if you notice, you have nice shelving on both sides with electrical outlets, so you can charge a cell phone or plug in a CPAP machine. And this side also has an additional laundry hamper, uh, or laundry chute rather. So that way you can take your dirty clothes, just throw it right down there, and that will go in your pass-through where you can have a laundry basket to collect it. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Springdale 260 LE. It's a great bunkhouse model, perfect for the family. You have a couch, you have the dinette, the double over double bunks, nice short floor plan, and it uh, weighs in at 5,200 pounds. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That would be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.